Hi, it's Carrie from CarrieContours.com, and I am so excited. We are moving into number three in our Makeup Beginner series, Makeup Basic series, third installment. And today we're talking about the tools that you will need to make your makeup flawless every single time. Okay, so if you're new here, make sure you go and watch the first and second installments of this series so that way you're caught up if you're coming back welcome back hey y'all go ahead and make sure you subscribe like comment all that stuff as you're watching this let me know what you think anything i might have missed let me know this video is going to be about the tools that you need what tools do you need like what do you need to buy what do you need to have already if you have something already can you make it work type deal starting with number one your first step when you're doing makeup well 1b i guess what you would say if you're using a primer that's your first step but 1b would be what brush or whatever do i need to get the foundation on now i have seen a few people on tiktok and uh, instagram reels like rubbing in the foundation all over their face using a whole lot of it we have more options you know let's use the options that are given to us number one that i would say that you know is a good choice this one's dirty because clearly i have makeup on um <laughs> this is a sonia kashuk uh blending sponge and it is huge uh in comparison to the normal sizes so this one would be really good for applying a full face of makeup um, and blending in to your skin so that way you get that seamless finish and you don't have harsh lines. Make sure that you wet the sponge, ensuring that it is just damp to the touch. So if you don't wet the sponge, it's just gonna soak up all your product. So wet it, squeeze out all the, the excess water, then come in, put your foundation on and blend it in. So that's one option. As well, I use uh, the Beauty Bakery. Sorry, this one's dirty too, because it's what I use. Uh, the Beauty Bakery um, sponge. Make sure it's damp and just, it would be really good for getting in these inner corners of your eye to blend your concealer in and making everything seamless. Then what I do is take the butt of the concealer um, sponge and then blend in between the foundation and concealer to continue to make it very continuous and smooth look. Another option for applying your foundation is a stippling brush of some sort. Um, this one is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. Um, there are also brushes that are very similar to this, except they're not round. They're more, you know, they stick straight up. Those are good as well. Um, it just really depends on what you feel comfortable with once you get them. Mind you, this is an e.l.f. brush. So this brush, I feel like at the most is like $5. I feel like it's probably cheaper than that. Um, but yes if you are a beginner you definitely want to hit up elf elf has really good brushes so definitely check them out but this is my number one if i'm going to use a brush to apply foundation which most of the time i do um so i usually pick this bad boy up so my number two tool that i use all the time can't live without them it doesn't matter what brand it is as long as you have one this is a flat brush that I use for my concealer it helps me clean up under my eyebrows after I've done my brows I go in with just a little bit of concealer underneath the brow if you're going to clean up above your brow this is an aside this has nothing to do with this but if you're going to clean up above your brow make sure you're using a small brush that is in your foundation color okay don't take your concealer from under your eye and put it above your brow because now your brows just look like a neon sign, you know, my brows are here. Don't do that, please, I beg of you. My number three item, this is probably the oldest brush that I own. So this is a spoolie brush. This is the brush that I use on my brows and it's really, its purpose is just to make the brows sit up. You brush your brows, same way you wanna brush your hair, you brush your brows in the direction you want them to go. If you need a full tutorial on how to do your brows, I do have one on my YouTube. So make sure that you check that out. You can go and look for that. I'll add a card here so that way you can have access to that. 
Speaking of brows and the spoolie brush, the all loving spoolie brush, make sure that your brow products are the proper color. I don't care if you are a very, very dark skinned person. Um, the only way you should be using black is if your your skin complexion is really close to like Nima Tang and people like that. If you are my complexion, you should not be using a black eyebrow pencil, period. Don't want to hear it. I just don't do it. Don't do it because you're out here looking very aggressive via the brows because you, you're wearing the wrong color. Lighter people, try and figure out what color is best for your skin tone. You want your brows to, you know, accentuate your face, but you don't want them to be the sole focus of your face. So <laughs> make sure you're picking a good color. Test out a few colors. But let's get into the types of brushes that you need because I know this is a big thing. People kind of just don't know what to buy. My suggestion is to get a brush that is, you need at least one that's a little fluffy, fluffy, but it's thin. It's not a super duper wide brush. So with this type of brush, you can go into the little crease of your eye blending while, while not causing harsh lines. So blending brush, huge, huge need for your makeup situation. This brush is from the Makeup Shack. The Makeup Shack is really good. It is a really good company to get your um, brushes from. Now, let me tell you this. The Makeup Shack sells individual brushes more than they sell like a collection of brushes. Based on the last time I looked on their website, this was a really long time ago though, so maybe they've changed things up. Um, if they have, then woo, good for you. When I first started makeup. I went to bhcosmetics.com and I bought a full set of brushes. Majority of those brushes I did not need. You know, like you get a whole bunch of just random brushes in those collections. But it may be hard to find ones that are specific to just your eyeshadow. That's one thing that I really wish existed was just like this brush set is for your eyeshadow. That's it. We don't have no other brushes in here. None for your face, none for your contour, none of that. Because what happens is if you buy a collection today and then you see a new collection, but they have more eyeshadow brushes that you want and need, then you go and buy their brushes. So now you got duplicates. Now we're spending too much money. In the best time of the year, in my opinion, to buy brush collections is during the holiday season. Another brush that you need, you need a blush brush of some shape, form, or fashion. This one is from e.l.f. It doesn't have to be this particular shape. I know a lot of them are now getting more pointed, so that way you're just right there um, on the cheekbone. Um, you need a brush for bronzing. I suggest bronzing. I know some people don't bronze, but to me, it just makes your face look warmer. So this is a BH Cosmetics number three brush. It came in a set. And uh, the thing about BH Cosmetics, they are very affordable. So that's why I keep bringing them up and saying you might want to start there and the makeup check. They are very affordable. And I know this one is taboo, but I love a fan brush. This fan brush is from BH Cosmetics from one of the collections that I ordered from them when I first started doing makeup. Now, I will say a brand that I have been pretty impressed with recently is the Lip Bar. The Lip Bar no longer is just about lips, baby. Um, they are actually, you know, coming out with dual brushes um, so that way you can do a fast face, things like that to, you know, make things easier for you to grab and go. You have a four-piece dual brush set guys can check that out and I actually have a discount code carry contours if you want some money off from the lip bar it works on all of their products not just the brushes okay my final thought about the tools that you need for makeup just be conscious and aware that brands will sometimes push out a new product and then they'll push out a new applicator to go with it like a brush the special brush that goes with it if you already have a brush that does what the brush they're selling, the brush and or tool, whatever tool it is, if you have something in your collection that already does it, you don't need that. Don't, don't buy the overpriced 
limited edition, you know, this came special with this palette brush. You don't need it. Like save yourself some money. Make sure it's something that makes sense for you because what's going to happen is you'll buy it and then you'll use it a few times, realize that you hate it. Uh, and then give up on it and go back and use the same stuff that you used to use. So trying to save you a little money, don't do it. You can get great results no matter what products you use, like the brand names, that's not important. When it comes to what tools do, that's important. Having the tools and knowing which tools to use is way more important than the brand name of whatever makeup tool that you have. I am going to have a special situation for our makeup basic series and my people who want a little more uh, help and assistance when it comes to creating the best makeup look for yourself, the best makeup look that makes you look beautiful and bomb every single time very soon. So make sure you sign up for my wait list. I'll leave the wait list down below. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, hit my DMs on Instagram at Carrie Contours. Peace.